another day, another video for the Xiaomi Redmi 4A, aka Rolex. Yes, this device is proving out to be a development dream. There are a ton of ROMs available and today we're going to do just that. We're going to talk about the latest version of Carbon ROM. Now, this is an unofficial build, but it seems to be pretty, pretty stable. Now, one thing that I wanted to share with you guys is the moment I see a new ROM, I go through the comment section at XDA developers and I decide as to should I cover this ROM or not. Now, this device here and if you're a subscriber to my channel using this device well stay there because this device is going to be with the channel for a very very long time and now that it has started getting support for project rebel and stuff like that there are a lot of roms that will be coming up so for now we are going to be installing and doing a first look of carbon rom for the xiaomi redmi 4a and before we begin if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time i upload a brand new video and if you like motorbikes and travel is your thing well here's a card to my second channel kratos 390 go ahead and check that channel out as well now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to smartphone tutorials my name is kalash let's begin Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So today we are going to have a first look that is basically an install and preview at another ROM. The name of the ROM is Carbon ROM based on Android 8.1 Oreo, which is of course Android open source project. Now we will not be installing Google Apps. I will just be installing the ROM for you guys. And then I will be showing you around the ROM in a very, very short seven or eight minute video. So let's get started. Now to begin with, you need to have at least 50% battery to be on a safer side. You need to have TWRP and the download link for Carbon ROM is mentioned in the description. So just go ahead and download that ROM and copy it to your phone's internal memory. At the same time, it's very, very important for you guys to go ahead and back up all your data so that you don't lose any. All right. Now, once we have done all that, let's go ahead and get flashing. So first thing you need to do is wipe and then swipe to factory reset and then let's go to home and install and select carbon rom there you go this is basically a build dated 10th of june so that's pretty latest and swipe to confirm flash there's the c which signifies that this is carbon rom now, as I've been saying in my install and preview videos is that almost all AOSP ROMs are more or less the same because they come from the same base. But then again, it's always a very, very good thing to go ahead and try out these ROMs just for my, maybe five minutes or so, because it will give you a glimpse of what features are available in that particular ROM. And that can definitely help you decide if you want to install that ROM or not. So we will wait for the installation process to complete. It will take roughly five to seven minutes for the install to happen. And then we will wipe cache and Dalvik and reboot to see the beautiful, beautiful boot animation. All right, so looks like the ROM has been flashed. So we will go and wipe cache and Dalvik. Swipe to flash or swipe to wipe and then go back to the home screen, reboot, system, do not install. So the first boot may take up to five minutes. So please be patient while that happens. And then once the phone is booted up, we will see if we have any force closes or any errors. And then we will go ahead and have a look at what the boot animation. A very, very simple boot animation there. Nothing out of the ordinary. Let's wait for the phone to boot up and then we will quickly have a look at the ROM. All right, so the ROM is booted up and that's a very, very nice wallpaper. Although, although it just makes, all right. Now that's really strange. This is the second ROM that I'm flashing today and it's giving me a force close. Um, I feel bad for the developers. So yeah, very, very minimalistic. Let's just go ahead and reduce the brightness on there because it's very, very bright. There you go. Yep. So um, we have settings now. Settings says it has a notification. Is that an OTA update? Let's go ahead and check for OTA updates. All right, not possible. All right, so that's fine there. So let's quickly, quickly have a look at this beautiful ROM that is Carbon ROM. So if we look at the amount of apps, we have browser, calculator, calendar, camera. Camera, which camera are we using? I think it's the same camera. Yes, it is. So yeah, we can leave that aside. And apart from that, there's not many apps that we have here. We have something called as Vanilla. What is that? It's basically the music player. Apart from that, it's Omni Clock. Okay. 
Omni Clock OSS. All right, so that's a clock over there. So let's quickly go to settings and let's have a short spin around this ROM and see what is so special. Um, so it says fibers. Now, I'm guessing this is a customization menu and yes, it is. So there is minimalistic amount of customization in this particular ROM. There's not, you know, a lot of customization just like Resurrection Remix. But yeah, you have system customization. You have status bar. And then you have lock screen. And you have buttons. So you can enable the navigation bar. Apart from that, you have gestures. So double tap lock screen to sleep and stuff like that. And you have privacy and security and you can directly go back to the home screen. So there's nothing much that is different in this particular ROM compared to other AOSP based ROMs. So these installs and previews are going to be very, very short, as I said earlier. But uh, what I have been asking you guys in every particular video is that there are a ton of ROMs available for this particular device, Rolex. So let me know which are the three ROMs that I should be reviewing for you guys. The maximum number of votes will decide which ROM gets reviewed on this particular channel. To begin with, for now, I did receive a force closure in messaging. So it doesn't force close anymore. So that's just... Uh, temporary error maybe but for now yeah it looks like a very very decent rom let me just quickly go ahead and have a look at the security patch is it june let's go to about phone yeah 5th june so you do have the june security patch and everything else is working just fine so there was a quick install and first look and preview of carbon rom based on android 8.1 for the redmi 4a if you like this video guys like share and subscribe and let me know in the comment section if there is anything else that i could add to this lineup or this particular series of videos for now this is kalash signing off with smartphone tutorials stay tuned for more amazing stuff goodbye